Hello and welcome to Millwall Fan TV. This is your post-match analysis for Millwall's disappointing defeat to Barnsley on Saturday and also your pre-match prediction for the exciting way trip to Neil Harris's Cardiff City. Um, so we'll get straight into the Barnsley uh, post-match. Disappointing. I don't really want to talk about it, if I'm being honest. It was always going to be a banana skin. It was always going to be a slip-up. It was always going to be a potential slip-up. Um, uh, we'll talk about the things that went wrong. So, firstly, not making excuses, but Pierce and Murray Wallace were left out of the match day squad uh, because of the illness, and they are a doubt for Thursday's trip to Cardiff. But I think they trained today, so I think they'll just be just about be okay. So we'll be able to play our five at the back. He did want to play five at the back against Barnsley, and I think that would have um, helped us because they looked very dangerous on the break. Barnsley did with their two quick strikers, Connor Chaplin and Jacob Brown. Um, I think where we went wrong, we just weren't clinical enough. In the first half an hour, we had lots of the ball. We had so many chances. We just couldn't put them away. We needed that little clinical aspect of the game, and we would have been tuning up at half time. But instead, we found ourselves 1 0 down through a Connor Chaplin good goal. It was, it was a really good goal. Um, I don't think he meant to put it there. I think it was a little bobble, but it was a brilliant finish. Um, we did equalise in the 85th minute for an O'Brien um, sort of header tapping. Goal, nice goal. Um, from there, we thought we were probably going to win it. Um, but Patrick Schmidt popped up in the 94th minute from a Jed Wallace um, mistake. Led, uh, led to him giving the ball to their right back and their right back crossed it in. Schmidt headed it past Bartos Bajkowski. Now, by no means am I blaming Jed. I mean, it was Jed's fault, definitely. But he's made two, two mistakes. And he's made two similar mistakes, which is a bit worrying. But he's made two mistakes. And I think... You know, he's going to make mistakes and we've got to take that if he's going to be as good as he is. Um, but yeah, a really disappointing result. Do I think it's just a one-off? Um, well, obviously, it's not a one-off against them teams. We always struggle against Barnsley, Wigan, Rotherham, Burton. You, you name a, a bad team and we struggle against them. Um, but I think it's a one-off in terms of I don't think it would have met, let, um, I don't think it would let them affect. Obviously, it's the end of the seven-game unbeaten run. Um, just do we do a Huddersfield now and go on a seven game losing streak? Hopefully not. Fingers crossed not. That'll be, that won't be ideal at all. Um, we're still only four points off the playoffs. I'm oh, still only uh, six, I think it's six points off third. So we're well in contention. We do some good business in January. We get two good results here Cardiff, Brentford, and Luton with a serious shout. Uh, so, you know, I don't think it's a slip up, but we'll move straight into the Cardiff pre match. So Cardiff um, drew 0 nil against Preston in their last home game, in their last game in the league on the 21st of December. Uh, they didn't muster up a shot on target until the 93rd minute. So do I think we can win this game? I definitely do. Um, I think we're going to play Bartosz Bajkowski in goal, Romeo, and play three at the back, uh, Hutchinson, Cooper and Pierce. Left back, I think we're going to play Murray Wallace, hopefully if he's well. Uh, Malumbi Williams in the centre and I think we're going to go with Jed Bradshaw people are saying we're going to go with O'Brien but I think we're going to stick with Bob Varson um, for the trip to Cardiff I think for my score prediction a lot of people are going with 1-1 um, but I'm going to be optimistic I'm going to say we don't we, we, should, we don't really concede goals on the road at the moment and obviously I don't want that to change I don't want our home form to start being rubbish and our away form to be like it, our home form did. We want to get a balance, but I'd like to hear. I'd like to see a good performance away, and I'd like to see a two 0 Mill win. That's what I think is going to happen. And I think Jeb Wallace and Tom Bradshaw to pop up with the goals. Neil Harris, however, will know the team, but I think we'll know him. Adam Barrett worked with him. He's the first team coach. He will know everything about Harris, and I think we'll exploit them. Gary Rout will bounce back, and so will all the players. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough game against Brentford, so three points here are going to be an important result. And, um, yes, yeah, so I think we're going to go for 2 0 Millwall win. Do I think that's likely? Well, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with a 2 0 win. Jeb Wallace and Tom Bradshaw to get the goals. So, more Millwall uh, pre match predictions and goal, uh, score predictions are now. Millwall Fan TV is your pre match prediction for Boxing Day's game away to Cardiff at the Cardiff City Stadium. And after Saturday's disappointing 2 1 loss to Barnsley in the last minute, I'm going to go with a 1 1 draw, which I'll be happy with. And I'm going to say Tom Bradshaw to score against the Taps. Come on, you know. Millwall Fan TV, my pre match for the Cardiff game. 
Well, Shaka's new highway is going back to him. I'm gonna go for Cardiff one, Mill one. Compton. Oh, he's injured. Cardiff City one, Millwall one, Bradshaw. A point. Millwall Fan TV. Come on, you lions. So that's it from us. Uh, let's hope for the Millwall win on, against Cardiff City on Boxing Day. I think Barnsley hopefully was just a bit of a slip. Um, but we've got three tough games coming up now. Cardiff, Bar uh, Cardiff, Brentford and Luton. Let's hope for three wins or at least seven points will be ideal. Hopefully a win against Cardiff. We want to win against Neil Harris. And I, t I take a draw against Brentford, but I want to win against Luton. So seven points out of nine will be perfect so as long as we win against Cardiff on Boxing Day. Um, I will be talk talking about transfer speculation after Christmas. Uh, there has been a few names pop up, but I'll wait. I'll um, I'll wait and talk about that after Christmas. If you do want to sponsor the channel, uh, your company will be uh, logo will be behind here. Have a merry Christmas, all of my followers. Have a merry Christmas, all of my subscribers. My Instagram and Twitter pages will be up after the video ends. Hopefully, we can get three points against Neil Harris's new team. But by 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 no means is it going to be a walkover. It's going to be a tough game. We're going to have to dig in, but. Come on, you lions.